Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. <laughs> Bakit ay pasatin sa akin? Okay. And that will be next point. <laughs> It's a great pleasure to have all of you here. And uh, I would just like to, to welcome the Secretary Alcala. It's a wonderful uh, opportunity to have you here and all the distinguished guests, and ladies and gentlemen, and most importantly, all the farmers. From, uh, from the Philippines, so, so welcome. Just to share with you a couple of words about, uh, about Erie, why we are here. We've been here for 50 years, wonderful host country, the Philippines, to help improve the lives of so many farmers and rice consumers around the world. And that is what we are about, making the lives of rice farmers and consumers better and making for a healthy environment uh, as well. I think if we look at rice production in the Philippines, it is an example of a wonderful success. The growth of rice production in the Philippines has been spectacular. And it's a credit to all of the farmers of the Philippines who have adopted the new technologies and taken them forward. And the Philippines are among the most productive farmers uh, in the world. We've gone from 2.5 million tons to over 11 million tons per hectare per year. Tremendous achievement. Oops, I've got the one thing that I wanted to show. If we look at, from the very beginning, not too long, 1960, Thailand was more productive than the Philippines. Today, the Philippines are far more productive than Thailand. Everybody talks about Thailand, but it's the Philippines who are really the leaders in rice production. And in Erie in the Philippines, we focus on developing new varieties and new technologies, working very closely with Phil Rice and UPLP, our most important partners. If we look at the varieties that we have produced in the Philippines, it is phenomenal. We have almost 90 varieties that have been produced, most for irrigated, but also for rain-fed conditions. So we tried to reach all of the farmers in, in the Philippines. And we have just some of the uh, most recent varieties, both for uh, stress tolerance as well as the high yielding varieties in the uh, uh, rain-fed and irrigated uh, conditions. And the most famous NCIA CRC Group 22 that you will see out in the field today, a tremendous, uh, a tremendous variety. We also look at working at improving the use of our natural resources. Water is continuously a problem for the rice farmer, and we have developed with our partnership uh, with Phil Rice a way of using much less water. We can, we can use uh, much less water and be much more profitable. We have a way of, uh, of uh, monitoring the rice uh, levels in the field just using a simple PVC tube in the field, and we'll see that again today. So we can reduce water consumption by 20% and increase profits by 25%. Pest control. We all know the problems of tongue grow and BPH, our, our, our insect resistant varieties, IPM, integrated pest management, essential to rice farming profitability as well as helping to protect uh, our environment. Most recently, uh, launched with the Department of Agriculture, methods to, for farmers to uh, determine how much fertilizer to apply in their fields and when. This is something that's launched cell phone technology. A farmer, you will be able to call in, or you are able to call in using your cell phone. You get a specific advice for your field under your conditions, and you will know what fertilizers to apply and when. I think that's a major partnership with both Globe and Smart, the two big cell phone providers working together with Erie, with Bill Rice, to provide the best technology uh, to, the, to, to, uh, to you. Now, this is for our local government officials. We invest a huge amount of money in the Philippines. We spend billions of pesos uh, into the local economy, uh, most of our, uh, uh, the vast majority of our employees are Filipino, and in fact, all of the work 
that Erie does, all of its contributions to mankind, are due to the outstanding Philippine scientists uh, community that we have here. And I think it is a tremendous gift that the Philippines has made to the world to contribute to the food security uh, of the world through the high quality Philippine scientists. And we have, with UPLB, with Bill Rice, spent decades creating the Philippine scientific community that in fact has made the Green Revolution possible, has made the Rice Revolution in the Philippines possible. Uh, over 100 PhD scientists developed here and uh, <coughs> over 2,000 Filipinos educated here. And we're very proud of that uh, relationship. And I think it's a question of our partnership Phil Rice, UPLP, we take the most sophisticated science and transform it into a way that all farmers can use around the world, in the Philippines and beyond. And so I thank you for coming. I welcome you to Erie. I invite you to, to appreciate the new technologies you will see in the field. And thank you very much for being here.